Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled Sights and Sounds from the Danube. Join us as we bring you music from historical churches and cathedrals in cities and towns found along the beautiful Danube River. Thank you for joining us. Our musical journey begins in Regensburg, this ancient Roman town which is one of the best preserved medieval cities in Germany, a true living museum. Its historic heart contains many architectural highlights such as the cathedral, churches, cloisters, the old town hall, and one of Europe's oldest bridges from the 12th century.
Upon leaving Regensburg, we travel on the last navigable stretch of the Danube. At Kelheim, we enter the 106 mile Main Danube Canal. The opening of the Main Danube Canal in September 1992 fulfilled the dreams of emperors and kings for over a thousand years. Modern technology has made the old dream come true, and the new canal is indeed one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. Begun in 1921, the 106 mile canal connects the Rhine Main rivers with the Danube thus for the first time connecting the North Sea with the Black Sea. Our journey takes us over land to Nuremberg, Germany, a center of medieval culture and veritable heart of Renaissance art. North of the Alps, it has always been at the forefront of German industry and commerce. Today, with a population of 500,000, it dominates the northern Bavarian region of Franconia. Nuremberg is the home of many magnificent churches, one of which is the St. Lorenz Church. This Protestant church houses one of the great organs of Germany. It was our pleasure to make music on the magnificent Steinmeier organ, which has recently been restored by the Kleiss Organ Company. The organ consists of 107 stops and five manuals.
We leave Nuremberg and continue our musical journey on the Main Danube Canal. We travel to the Episcopal town of Bamberg, where the Main Danube Canal begins. The old town is graced with works by the sculptor Riemann Schneider and the architect family Dietzenhofer. Take a good look at the cathedral, Bamberg's greatest attraction, where the transition from Romanesque to Gothic can be clearly traced. Set amidst picturesque rivers and forests, Bamberg boasts over 1,000 years of history, a perfectly preserved architectural history of Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque. The city is listed as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site.
Our musical journey ends in Würzburg, one of Germany's most historic cities, with music from the great organ of the cathedral. Würzburg is the proud Episcopal city straddling the river Main amid the charming vine-clad slopes of Franconia. One of the highlights of any tour of this city is the 18th century residence of the Prince Bishops. Bathasar Neumann created here one of the most beautiful Baroque palaces in Europe.
The organ of the Würzburg Cathedral is one of the great new organs of Germany. Built in 1970 by the Kleist Organ Company in Frankfurt, the organ consists of five manuals and 6,654 pipes. Of special interest is the casework, which completely surrounds a huge clock found in the middle of the back wall. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you sights and sounds from the Danube. Today, music has come to you from historical churches and cathedrals, cities and towns found along the beautiful Danube River. Thank you for joining us.
If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. We look forward to hearing from you.